Hey guys, what's going on? Caleb here, and today I'll be doing a video on this kit I have designed, uh, the 15cm SFH-02 gun. This was used by the German army during World War I. Um, it was used quite a lot, especially at the beginning of the war because of its uh, advantage. Um, it's basically, it had the firepower of a heavy cannon at the time, a heavy gun, but it was in the form of a medium gun, so it can basically just be deployed easier and faster and move closer to the front line. So, a very good uh, artillery piece, as you see with this uh, description in the background, which I did actually have that set up at Brick Fair, Virginia. Um, it's just, I, I took it down after a while. Uh, I think I've explained it in my Brick Fair, Virginia video. Um, but anyway, let's get into the features of the gun. So, there is a little, like, uh, circle, open circle piece here with this, like, backpack sort of figure attachment. So, with that, you can hook it up to something like a Jeep. This is a Brickmania, uh, Willys Jeep. Of course, this would not have been used during this time period, uh, or war, but, uh, you can just see that it clips on, like, so... And then you can just easily drive away with the gun. So that's a cool little feature. You can make your own, like, uh, I guess carriage so you can pull it around with horses or something like that that you would have seen in the time period. Uh, wheels, they do roll. Um, I think that should be pretty simple. Uh, there's a cool little technique I use. I just got uh, some clips right here, and I attached it to a 1x2 plate. Um, not plate, a tile. And then... Um, the gun does elevate up and down, but of course, since this is built by uh, like bricks and plates right here, it's not exactly like standard moving it. Like if if it was the wheel, like it's supposed to move, this is kind of just sliding, like turning pieces uh, around. If you know what I mean. But anyway, this is a very uh, I don't know, it was just an interesting build for me, and especially learning about the artillery piece because this was back before. Uh, Battlefield 1 was coming out, um, I think the trailer was just released, like, maybe a month before I made this, so, I, and I knew Battlefield 1 was going to be coming out, so I knew that, um, people would be wanting some of, uh, World War 1 builds. Uh, anyway, this is, um, a howitzer shell that comes with it, uh, very basic, it's a brick arm. And then, over here is probably, well, it's not my favorite part, I like the gun, but this is just a cool thing I wanted to add. This is a Minifigs R Us printed uh, figure. He has um, the old style of printed uh, boots that they had, like I think six months ago. Um, then there's also a very nice printed torso. If you want me to get closer with that focus. Oh yeah, that's some nice quality. If you guys noticed that my quality wasn't that good on my last few videos, that's because I've been uploading without uh, using my Wi-Fi. So I've just been basically uploading on mobile because uh, it just works better for my internet normally. Um, but it's it should have very nice quality now because I'm not being lazy. But you see, it does come with a painted helmet by me. World War One helmets, there was no specific camo they really used. It's just whatever worked for the place they were fighting in. So each helmet I uh, that comes with these kits is a little bit different, but this one's probably my favorite. I will be keeping it. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I really enjoy it. He comes with a Car 98, not painted, just a standard Brick Arms Car 98. I would have used a Gewehr 98, um, but they're only in proto uh, prototypes right now, and I do only have three of them. And I kind of want to start collecting prototypes more because I know that they are worth more than your standard gun, even. Sometimes worth more than the um, overmolds. So anyway, that's uh, the kit. I can pull out the bag, so I will do that. So these come inside of a little bag I designed. Um, pieces and stuff in the bottom. You have my old business card. I still use it right now just because I have a surplus of them. But I will try designing a new one eventually. So I can hand them out at conventions and whatnot. Trying to grow the YouTube channel, the Instagram and possibly Flickr. Um, I have not seen any growth on there in a little while, but that's fine. Um, so, yeah, this is just the front. It's in definitely inspired by Brickmania because of the flag on it. And then it kind of says, well, this isn't a company, but that's it's kind of what it is, if you know what I mean. Then, of course, the name. Now, if we flip it over, um, you see a little disclaimer saying that Minifix R Us did not help me in the production of this kit. I just used their torso because... Um, it's just an amazing print. I absolutely love it. 
Then there is an instruction manual, which I am very pleased with. My last kit I did um, was the TKS tank kit. If any of you remember that, can I please get a focus? There we go. The tank kit, that did not have any instructions. I just built it completely and I sold it to people, which wasn't exactly the most fun. I might do that again, the TKS tank kit. I know I was thinking about it a few months ago, but I was like, that will be so expensive, especially for you guys at the time, because I had to, oh, sorry, I just hit the table. Um, But I had to like buy a box and stuff, but I was able to get some boxes for my stepmom. Um, She works at a dermatologist office, and she was able to get some boxes from their mail. So that's really cool. Um, I will be able to do some pretty high quality for my standards, um, like packaging for my next uh, kits. So I do think I'll be doing the tank kit. Not sure when, but anyway, this will this kit that you see right in front of you, uh, the SFH02, will be on eBay starting now uh, when I upload this uh, video. The link will be in the description. And get them while you can, because I know quite a bit of people wanted to buy this in my last video, like maybe seven or eight, and I only have six of them right now, and I'll be making a post on Instagram just so I can get them out and I can buy Christmas gifts for people with the money I um, get. So, yeah, thanks guys for watching, rate, comment, and subscribe guys, and goodbye.